Hi everybody, Marlene, aka Snow Gardener 307. I am sitting in my driveway because I just got home from the store and I have to tell you guys, I have got one huge grocery haul today and I found some amazing, amazing sales. So you guys know me, I am a prepper at heart, so I buy stuff when it's on sale. So let's go ahead and get the groceries taken in and then we'll talk about the collab and the channels and all of that good stuff. All right, everybody, I got all the groceries brought in. And like I said, this is a collab. So make sure you go down in the description down below for um, our two hosts, Jessica and Tiffany, and also check out the playlist. So uh, let's go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna start with my meal plan, which um, I did change because of shopping a day later and also because of sales. So uh, let's see what I've done. Okay, so I originally planned on shopping on Tuesday, it didn't happen, today is Wednesday. So let me tell you guys what got changed, what we're going to be doing. And some of these are gonna be on different days and it will be just fine. So I'm gonna be making a cheeseburger casserole. This is a delicious recipe. It is friendly on Weight Watchers. It has mushrooms and um, cauliflower and things like that in it to make the meat and the potatoes go farther. I'm also doing a bruschetta chicken. And then we have some hams in the freezer that I want to get used up. So I'm going to go ahead and cook up the ham. And then I'm going to go ahead and make the um, copycat crackle barrel hash brown casserole. And then we're going to have a leftover night. I don't know when it's going to be. I'm also going to make some sour cream rhubarb cookies this week. And we're going to do some breakfast burritos. And then I was cleaning out the freezer by listing this meal. But instead, we're going to go ahead and do stuffed bell peppers because yellow peppers and orange peppers were on sale. And I just saw a video from my friend Cynthia over at um, the Biggs Prep and her new channel, I'm trying to remember what it is. She just changed it, um, some, um, Biggs Homestead, something like that. I'll put her channels down below as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And I do have a, a very large haul. Like I said, for me, this is absolutely huge. I've spent way more money at my store this week than I normally do. But I'll tell you guys, there are good reasons. So we're gonna start over here with the Powerades. You had to buy 15 to get the deal. And if you bought 15, they were 68 cents a piece. So I grabbed 15. Now, normally we don't buy the ones that have sugar in them, but they had very limited stock. So I went ahead and got what I could get. Now, this is one thing you have never seen on my grocery haul before, as far as for my local store. I normally get this at Sam's Club, but Sam's Club, as we all know, the inflation has been going up and up and up. We used to be able to get this for $18.99. Sam's Club right now is over $23. My store had these on sale for $21.99. And I actually had four of them in my cart for my Sam's Club order. So I'm going to be taking money out of my Sam's Club envelope to pay for this. And this will now give my husband enough coffee for six months. That was my goal. And so from now on, whenever he uses one, we'll just replace one. Then I went ahead and grabbed two gallons of milk, um, the whole milk. And luckily milk is going down. Let me double check and see how much the milk was. I believe it was four something, but they did have a sale. So let's see. Yep, 409 for the milk, and I got two of those. And then I got some more drinking water. And this right here is for our stockpile. So we don't normally drink this on a day-to-day -day basis, but these were on sale when you bought four of them for $11. Dollars. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the freezer stuff. And after the freezer stuff, I'm going to go ahead and put this away and then I'll come back and finish the rest with you. So Mr. D's, I really like these frozen potatoes and I needed um, some hash browns anyway for my hash brown casserole. And my app had a coupon for a personalized deal. These were a dollar 49 a bag. So I grabbed three hash browns. I grabbed one golden rounds, kind of like the flat tater tots. And I went ahead and grabbed the potatoes O'Brien. We haven't tried these in that brand, so I decided I would go ahead and do that. And then ice cream was on sale um, for a pretty good price. Not amazing, but this is my family's favorite. I don't know why I bother buying other flavors. This is a sea salt caramel pretzel, so I grabbed two of those, and they were on sale for $4.29. And then I went ahead and got some pizzas. So these were also in a personalized deal for me. These were $4.19 a piece. 
and the Forchetta. I, I believe we've had them before. I don't know. They're all naturally rising crust. I got a four cheese, a pepperoni, and two Canadian style bacon and pineapples. And for that price, you just cannot beat that because we don't have um, a chain pizza restaurant locally. So we are buying pizzas. And usually if we go out for pizza, we're spending 50 to $75. So love and having these in the freezer. All right, let me put this stuff away and I'll be right back. All right, so let's go ahead and jump back into this grocery haul. I got that frozen stuff put away. So we have all kinds of produce here. Um, for anybody that's new to my channel, I am trying to eat healthier and have my family eat healthier. Sometimes it works, sometimes it does not. So let's talk about what we've got. We needed some mushrooms for that cheeseburger casserole. So I grabbed two of these and they were $2.49 a piece. And then I really like the hot house cucumbers. I love um, putting a little bit of tahini on this and having it as a side dish for me. And that was $1.50. The peppers were on sale for um, $1.25 a piece. And so I went ahead and grabbed two yellows and two oranges and we are going to be doing stuffed peppers this week. And then I needed some lettuce because we don't have any at all. This was $1.99. And then I grabbed that cauliflower back there. I grabbed that for the cheeseburger casserole as well. Let me see if I can find a price for you guys. So it was $1.68 a pound. And this is a smaller head. And I got a smaller head on purpose. It was $2.67. And then I went ahead and grabbed one bag of salad and one spinach just to make life a little bit easier. These were on sale two for four. Then I needed a red onion for a recipe. And this was the smallest onion I could find. They were kind of expensive. It was $1.79 a pound, so this ended up being a $1.86. And then I needed some regular onions. These were $0.99 cents a pound, and they ended up being $2.25 for the four of them. Cantaloupe was on sale for a great price, um, $0.38 cents a pound, so this was only $1.58 for this cantaloupe. Hopefully, I grabbed a good one. And then strawberries were on sale. Two for three dollars, so a dollar fifty. That's the cheapest that I've seen them um, all summer long. And for anybody that watched my grocery haul in the past, where I had all the raspberries, I am going to be making strawberry freezer jam out of these. And for the freezer jam, I needed some lemons for some lemon juice, and these were ninety nine cents a piece. I tried to buy lemon juice yet again at my store, and they did not have any. So ninety nine cents a piece. But what was it going to do? And then tomatoes on the vine were on sale, so these were a great buy so I went ahead and grabbed them they were on sale for 98 cents a pound so these ended up a dollar 13 and then I went ahead and grabbed myself a couple mangoes these were on sale for 88 cents a piece I have a southwestern turkey wrap that I like to make for myself that is very Weight Watchers friendly that has mango and it was absolutely to die for. Then I went ahead and grabbed this basil. Now I love having it in my fridge and I haven't had it for a while. At my store it's $5.89. It is going to be for the bruschetta chicken. Of course it calls for fresh basil, but fresh basil was $3.99 and I figured let's go ahead and buy this and use it for a couple of recipes and it still tastes so yummy. And then I went ahead and grabbed just a few grapes. Um, my guys don't eat a lot of fruits and vegetables unless I dish them up for them. So this type of stuff I like to keep it minimal. So they were $1.98 a pound and so this small bag was $2.26. So lots of produce there. Now we're going to jump into meat and more meat and more meat. So I haven't bought meat in I don't know how many grocery hauls. This is what I do and this is how I'm able to do that. So I shop sales today and beef has been so expensive at our store. So um, unfortunately my receipt doesn't show how much I saved because they just ring it up as five for 20. I am going to go ahead and add all of these up and see how much money I saved on this beef here. And then I also got a little bit of pork. We do have quite a bit of pork in our freezer, but um, I wanted to go ahead and get my husband a picnic roast. Um, to go ahead and smoke. We got gifted a used Traeger that um, needed a couple parts. So my husband got it fixed and it was about 40 bucks or so it cost to fix them. So I grabbed this. I think we're going to go ahead and roast this up next weekend and have some friends over. $1.49 a pound. So $12.21 for that. And then these were a manager special right here. These um, country style 
pork chops and they do have bones in them. I love throwing these into the crock pot with some yummy seasonings. This is several mils right here. They were only $1.47 a pound. And so this was $7.95 for this package and the package below that was $6.28. So I would say that we've got at least four meals here, if not five meals. And then ground beef. I don't know about you guys, but ground beef has been so expensive. Let me show you guys the regular price on this ground beef, $6.39 a pound. It is the 93%. But even the 8020 at my store was $4.99 today. So I grabbed five of these and um, I made sure I grabbed the best ones. When I broke this down really quick to see what was cheaper, I added up all of the weights and it ended up being about $3.30 a pound. So I grabbed five of those. And then I went ahead and grabbed some cube steaks. I went ahead and grabbed three packages of cube steaks. I grabbed some top round steaks. So I grabbed three things of top round as well. So they all looked absolutely amazing. And then I went ahead and got some of these Chuck Tender steaks. Again, looked amazing. Got four of these. I'm going to be wrapping these or putting these into Ziploc bags because, you know, if you do this type of stockpiling, uh, this right here will get freezer burnt super quick. I still don't have my food saver, so these are most likely just going into freezer Ziploc bags. And then I went ahead and grabbed some lunch meat. Lunch meat at my store has went up a lot. I don't know about you guys. But for us, these packages of lunch meat were $6.99 normally. These were on sale for $2.99. So I grabbed a black forest ham, a brown sugar ham, and two oven roasted turkey breasts. All of these are good until September. So they can just go into the freezer drawer and be there for all of the rest of July, August. And this turkey is good until the end of September. I probably should have grabbed a couple more, but my cart was already so full. And then my uh, store had a coupon for their generic Oreos. And so I went ahead and grabbed five of them. They were $1.99. They're not as good as Oreos, but they are amazing to put into recipes. And my husband and son will still eat them. So I got one original. I got two golden. I meant to get a double stuffed golden, but I messed up somehow. I got a double stuffed regular. And then they also had mint. So I got a double stuffed mint. So $1.99 a package for those. Plan on making some desserts. Maybe for the barbecue this next weekend, I'll find something that calls for Oreos. And then in order to um, do my jelly, I needed to get some more freezer pectin. And this worked super good on the raspberry jelly. And this was kind of expensive. It was $6. Let me see if I can find it on my receipt. $6.69. So that was kind of a splurge. This is a splurge right here as well. The Tostitos Queso. It was $5.99. But I make myself like bean and chicken or bean and cauliflower burritos on Weight Watchers. And this is a very point friendly cheese. And then mustard was calling to me. I don't know why. It was four for five. So I got a Dijon mustard. I also grabbed this sweet and hot mustard. That sounded interesting. A horseradish mustard and a spicy brown mustard. These are going into the pantry. They're all good until next year. And also the vinegars. I got a red wine vinegar and a white wine vinegar. These were on sale for $1.99 and those are going into the stockpile as well. So this is the grocery haul minus the cold stuff. You can see I've got some receipts here. I actually had to go back to the store because they charged me $6.99 for that turkey lunch meat. And I said, um, no, I had also forgot lemons. So my actual total that I spent today was $330.70. Now I know you guys are going, wait a minute, Marlene, your weekly budget is $150. You are correct. However, we are going to be pulling money from our Sam's Club budget for the coffee. And obviously, this type of stuff is for stockpile. So we're going to pull stockpile money as well. And we will make it work. So, well, that's it for me. I've got to get busy putting all of this meat away, repackaging it, and getting it put in the freezer. I do want to let you guys know that I am working on a pantry and freezer tour video. So make sure you stay tuned if you like that. Um, we have a big change coming up in our pantry. My husband's helping me with this. And again, remember to go check out the collab, go check out everybody's videos. And I want to thank Tiffany and Jessica for inviting me to their open collab and always helping upload the videos to the collab and all of that fun stuff. Thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this big food haul for me. And until I see you guys next time, remember to keep on smiling. Bye everybody. Bye.